You know, sometimes you discover some gear that you don't really need, but man, you want it. And you want it bad. That's what I'm going to show you today. Stick around. Hi, I'm Bob, and you, my friends, are back in United States of Analog. How you doing out there? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing good. Thanks for uh, asking. And today, I've got a pretty cool show. I, you know what? I didn't prepare a lot for this. I've been thinking a lot about this review thing that you know we do. We call them reviews anyway. And I, I think I'm going to move away from reviews in the future because it's the, the word itself is a little misleading. I, I feel like I'm more of a presenter. That's, that's my purpose, to present to you something that maybe you haven't seen or experienced firsthand and tell you what I think about about it, how it played, uh, you know, to my ears in my home, in my environment. You know, you can take my word and combine it with other reviews on YouTube and, and do further reading on the internet to decide if the product is right for you. I think that's the best way to go about things. I want to get away from superlatives and absolutes and telling you things like this $120 amp sounds like a $1,200 headphone amp. You know, that doesn't serve anybody. Sure, it gets the clicks. And man, I could use the clicks right about now. And speaking of that, if you have a moment, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'm pretty excited because sometimes today or tonight, I'm going to hit 33,333 subscribers. It'll happen today, 33 and a third. And I think that's pretty cool for United States of Analog. We have to do something commemorative for that, maybe a t-shirt or something. But today we're going to be mostly in the digital realm with two products from two companies I like very much. Apos Audio, a retailer on the West Coast and in Florida, just Shelly Labs. Now, why am I fond of both of these companies? Well, first of all, they do good work. One's a retailer, one's a manufacturer. Both of those companies were very quick to reach out to me when I started this channel. They saw the potential in what I was doing. And it's important when you're starting out to get equipment in on loan so that you can have something to present. They're good companies. I'm by no means shill for them. They do not control my content or what I say. So we have a beautiful stack here. Again, I the reason I said nobody needs this, and I don't mean to disparage this equipment, is that if you've been in the audio for more than five hot minutes, you know, you probably already have some version of what I'm going to show you today. Do you need it? No. Did I need these LC1 bookshelf speakers from Chesky Audio at the beginning of the year when they came out? No, I already had a ton of bookshelf speakers. I didn't need it. And my wife would also remind you that I didn't. You know what? I wanted to support Chesky Audio and Luca, and I wanted to be an early adopter of a brand new company, a brand new product. And I even had Luca sign the back because I think it's, it's important. And the least I can do in this audio space is every once in a while throw a little money around to keep things going. And I suggest you throw a little money around too. And a little money you will throw because this Gremlin headphone amp, which I think I've reviewed a, not too long ago, starts out at $120. Now there's different configurations. This is a $120 base headphone tube amp. It's balanced, it's class A amplification, and I'll tell you a little more about that. And I'll probably splash some specs on the screen. Try to say splash some specs really quick. I, it took me three times to say this. I hope you didn't see the edits. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 12 AU7 tubes sourced by Ray tubes. Uh, they're very nice. They glow very bright. The tubes aren't glowing, but the LEDs underneath. Oh, Bob, that is a cheap magic trick. Well, if it is, Macintosh is doing it too, but with different colors. So don't let that uh, dissuade you. Oh, and if I didn't mention, the, the headphone amp is a, is a collab. It's Apos branded X community, by community or whatever. They, uh, they did a really nice job with this and it's been out for a while. On the front, you've got this kind of nod to Fozzy Audio. I'm not sure. This copper color knob I've seen before. And this is a 4.4 headphone input. You're probably going to need an adapter if you're new to audio and you've just got, you know, regular headphones. There's a full-size XLR here and a power switch. And I'm feeling some heat coming off the top. But it's ventilated. It's open air and the, the top and the bottom are clear plexi. And to roll the tubes, you just simply unscrew these 
four points here, lift up the plexi, and you can easily roll the tubes. And roll you probably will if this is your first tube amplifier. It's a lot of fun, but I'll say the Ray tubes are very good. On the back, you have a 4.4 input. You've got a, uh, a set of XLR inputs, and that's about it, and the power runs uh, in here. As you can see, it's kind of a jungle back here with the cables, and you want to be careful how you place them because, you know, sometimes the weight of the cable exceeds the weight of these stacks, and, you know, it could tip over or just look like the leaning tower of Pisa or whatever. But uh, anyway, cord management will be a little bit of an issue here, but I'm sure you can handle it. A very cool class A headphone amp with tubes with plenty of power. It's pretty simple to operate and it sounds really good and I'll get into that in just a second. You've got this little, they call it the stacker. Um, I don't think it's 3D printed but it's this little plastic part here that separates and stacks the uh, amp and the DAC. Now, a few months after the Gremlin was released, Apos reached out to Gishelli Labs in Florida and said, hey, can you build us uh, a DAC with the same form factor that would stack underneath this headphone amp? And the folks at Gishelli Labs went to work and came up with a AKM4493 system. That's the DAC chip in here that uh, is a perfect complement to this. The same form factor, open air design, see-through design, balanced, beautiful. It's almost a shame it has to go on the bottom. It's so nice. If you know anything about DACs, uh, you already know about Gishelli Labs quality and how much they're loved in the audio community and there's a good reason. They're just good people that do good work. Now on the front, there's a switch to turn on the power and there's a switch to select between coax input and USB. It's USB-C. This is to connect your laptop primarily. Uh, on the back, you've got the coax input. You've got left and right RCA output. You have XLR outputs that run up to the uh, XLR inputs in the Gremlin. Pretty simple, easy to connect. I, I, I like this stack. I like these companies. And uh, let me get you a little more technical details about the DAC. I told you about the 4493 AKM. Uses a TI-1652 op amp. And then uh, uh, Aminero, I believe, is the company, does the USB module. And this is uh, kind of tailored to keep jitter to a minimum if you're using your computer as your music source. There's native DSD 512 if you're using the USB, 32-bit 768 support, and the coax supports up to 192 kilohertz, 24 bit. Again, the Gremlin starts at 120. The Merlin starts at 225. There's all kinds of configurations. You can buy them separately. You can upgrade the tubes. You can add XLRs, add the stacker box. There's all kinds of options. And so this is a pretty nice stack if you're on the budget. But I will say some of the combo kits run in excess of $600. So pick the combination that's right for you. You may already have XLRs at home, you may already have better tubes that you can roll in here. And you may already have a Gishelli Lab stack, so have at it and just stack the Gremlin on top of that. Nobody gets hurt if you do. So for my source, just for fun, I grabbed my $10 Goodwill Sony DVD SACD player find. It worked great. And for headphones, these were just sent to me by Meze Audio, the 105 AER headphones. And I'm really enjoying these things. I'm breaking them in right now. I'll tell you more about them in a future video, but I love the black stealthy design. Lightweight, really well constructed, and they sound great. I didn't feel like I was missing anything. So let's talk a little bit about the sound. It's crazy to kind of get into the, the weeds with a $120 device, you know, it, like the Gremlin is. It, it just doesn't make sense. Plenty of power, plenty of volume. I noticed substantial punch and, and dynamics uh, using these headphones with this system, playing CDs. You know, your mileage is going to vary, but I did not want for more in this combination. I played The Clash, London Calling. I played Boskag, Silk Degrees, one of my favorite albums. Uh, Billy Joel's Greatest Hits. Uh, played some Paul McCartney and Wings from their new uh, Greatest Hits package and everything sounded fantastic. Comfortable, smooth, yet detailed and, and, and punchy as well. Yeah, you're getting some of that warmth, but I don't think it's taking anything away 
from the detail. I also plugged in some IEMs. These are the rock lobsters that you can also get from APOS in their community. Uh, these are only about 60 bucks. And uh, I don't think I'm an IEM person. I, I don't find much need for them. Of course, everyone's different and you may love IEMs. Uh, I couldn't get the proper seal. I'm gonna have to look for some slightly bigger earpieces or whatever because I wasn't getting you know, a, a tremendous amount of bass. Uh, I was getting the detail, I was getting the mid-range, but I wasn't getting all the bass I needed. Uh, I just need to get some different tips and I'll be trying those out, but I'll tell you more about those. But at 60 bucks, they're definitely worth a try, and you can also find these on the APOS website. As far as the Gishelli Labs uh, AKM 4493 DAC, uh, what can I say? You've, you may have already experienced that kind of configuration. It is very clean. Uh, like I said, everything came through punchy and detailed and fun. That's that's the main thing I wanna say about this rig. It's, it's just fun. It's fun to look at, it's fun to own, it's fun to listen to. Uh, it's everything I like about this hobby that we call audio. But let me let me run down a couple of the, the downsides. So I went a little bit crazy today. It took me about an hour to get going because the Weem, the Arilix, they don't have coaxial outputs, they only have spit if in the optical form and man i would have killed i would have it would have saved me an hour today if <laughs> the Gishelli labs had optical most of their dacs do but in this case there's not room for it and they opted for coaxial so that's why i plugged in the cd player you may have a streamer with coaxial and if you do you'll be in good shape again and i hate to keep bringing it up it's just the amount of cables and connections and power cords that you have most of us are used to that and we deal with cord management every day so overall a really cool stack a really cool well thought out package that i think you'll be proud to own i'm glad to be able to present it to you today price is good Sound is good, form factor is good, it's unusual. You feel like you've got something special here, and you do. To Shelly Labs and Apos teaming it up, the one-two punch, headphone amp, DAC. You don't need it, but I know you're gonna want it. And you know what else you want? I think you're gonna wanna watch one more of my videos. The geniuses at YouTube have already decided that you're gonna wanna watch this. And, oh man, that's a good one. There it is right there. You know what? I enjoyed making that one. I really did. Uh, I'll see you next time in the United States of Analog. Have fun and be safe this holiday season. Cheers. <laughs>